This ain't nothing new under the sun. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not nothing new under the sun. There's a reason as to why your hometown people want you to fail. Because they're your hometown people. And you might think they're supposed to love you. They're supposed to support you. If they're your friend, they're supposed to be there for you. They're supposed to say positive and nice things about you and build you up, not tear you down. But little do you know, as some of you might not know, but a lot of you do already, the exact opposite happens because they're from your hometown. Because you did it, you're showing them that they can too. But you... You better than them. You, you you did it. They did not do it, but you did it. Look at the rappers. Look at look, look at what happens to people from their hometowns. They go back to their hometown. They get shot because they're jealous and envious. And you are proving to them that they're just lazy. You're proving to them that you can do the work, but you're choosing not to, and that your levels above them. You're showing them clear as day. And they know this, and it pisses them off. It pisses them off because they just can't be on the same page as you, and that's what they want to be, is on the same page as you. They can't stand you to be levels above them, and they know that's the truth. And you don't even see it like that. They do. They see it like that. And that's the whole problem. You don't care. You don't care. You're not going to look at anybody else any differently. Your success, the work you put in, has everything to do with you and nothing to do with anybody else or how you see or view anybody else, but they view it like this. Why? Because they get jealous and insecure and envious and all these other things. And some people will come to the point where they will kill you in your own hometown. You see it happening all the time. And it's a shame. It's backwards. You should be celebrated by your own people. You should be. But it's just unfortunately, it's not how it goes. And... It's not something that's ever going to change. So don't expect it to change. Don't think these people are, are, are going to love you all over again. Because you're going to get to a certain point where they are going to turn on you. And nothing else is going to be done or said. Said or done. It's just how it is. And you will get all the love, appreciation, the support, the everything from strangers that never met you in real life. It's a weird thing how, how, how things really are, but it's just completely absurd at the same time. It makes no sense, but it makes sense. It makes no sense because you are a moron if this is you. Just there's no other way of saying it. Like, your hometown people, your haters, they do nothing but make themselves look bad. They can't even act right around you. They can't, they cannot, they don't want to give you anything because they lack so much of what you already have. They can't even hide the fact of how much they hate you, and this is really what it is. It's completely insane. It's completely insane. Because they know. They know you, you have so much more abundance than they do. They know you have so much more than they have. Which is why they have to act the way they act. They want to tear you down because you already have so much more. But you earn so much more. You put in the work. They did not put in the work. You earn what you earn because of the work you put in. They have what they have because of what they did not do. And they, they, they just think 
I don't even know. They, they, they just think you're handed these things automatically whenever they're not doing the things you're doing. You're doing things at a much higher level than they can even comprehend. They, they can't get on that level, that's the thing, but you're on that level. You are. And that's why they hate, because you're great. And they pretty much want you dead. The, the fact that you exist bothers them. And they would rather you crawl up under a tree and, and not do anything, become nothing, say nothing, do nothing, just be nothing in general, just like they are. And that is the harsh truth. They hate you. They despise you. You make them feel bad without even doing anything to them personally. You're not, you're not even focused on them. But internally, this is how they feel towards you. You don't even feel anything towards them. It's like, what? what, what? Like, what are you saying, bro? Like, what? What? They're so caught up in their emotions towards you because they are honestly invested in you at the same time. They love and they hate you and they don't, they don't know how to feel about you. It's a very weird thing. But it is how it is. <clears throat> There's nothing anybody can do about it. There's nothing you can do about it. There's nothing I can do about it. There's nothing anybody can do about it. People are going to feel how they want to feel towards you and it's something that's not going to change. Their feelings can change towards you, but how they feel about you at a particular time is going to remain the same. It's going to remain the same. It's almost like they have to change themselves in order to feel a different way about you because it has everything to do with them and nothing to do about you. There are people out there that want to view you as a bad person and you could be the best person ever, the nicest, the humblest, the best person ever. And there could be people out you painting a bad picture of you because they have to do that to feel better about themselves. You could be a better person than these, pe than these people's parents. Their parents could be against them and they could love their parents more than they love you. And, and you could be the best thing for them. You know what I mean? It's just crazy. People are absolutely insane in the head. It's just crazy. And, you know, it all stems down to you achieving things that they... It's not that they can, it's that they... They just don't have it in them to do it. So they can do nothing but hate. And it's, it's a real pandemic, if we're being honest. The hate, people are very hateful today. It's like people don't know how to focus on themselves to make themselves better. It's like almost nobody can do that nowadays. Very few people can. And I'm with the people that do do that. I'm not with the people that don't do that because I know where these people are headed. I know what these people are. If you're not focused on yourself, if you're not focused on your own energy, you're always dependent on somebody else. You're always looking for somebody else. You're using somebody else to fill a void in yourself. It's what you're doing because you're not focused on yourself and your own life. You are not. You should be learning from the people you want to learn from. You should be picking and choosing what you want to do to better yourself. You learn, then you take action. You learn, you take action. It's a repeated cycle. Because you can't just take all the action in the world and never learn a thing. You're just always taking action here, there, here, there. You have to, you have to calm yourself down. You have to learn, you have to take in, and then you take action. Then you take more in, and then you take action. You take more in, and then you take more action. It, it's, <clears throat> it is a recipe for success. It really is. And guys, I've been doing this for over half a decade now. And the results will show. What you've done and what everybody else has done, the results will show. And there's no way around it. There's no way around it. So, you get what you put in. And that's what there's no way around. And it's crazy because we're living in a time that is so different than ages ago, years ago. Even the last 10 years, we are living in a time now that, have, that has never existed. 
people that are like in their 20s right now, their young 20s, maybe 19, 20, 21, 22, even 23, 24 and stuff like that. They have no effing clue of actually how bad things are going to turn out for them if they do not boss up. Because as a man or a woman, you have to boss up. Some people get to the age of 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, and never actually boss up. You have to, and it's never too late to boss up. You gotta boss up. And you gotta become the best you can possibly be for yourself. Because if you don't do that, you are going to feel very unfulfilled. You have to put in an enormous amount of work on yourself. Enormous. Everything else is a distraction. And a part of working on yourself is also learning. Because if you never learn, you're going to be taking action that makes zero sense. Because you don't even know what to do, where to go. You must first learn. This is what I teach a lot of people. A lot of people that I work with, a lot of people that even want to ask me one question, which I will answer. I can't go back and forth with everybody every single day, 24-7. It's just not going to happen. I'm I'm away from, from, from my phone for like four or five, six hours at a time during the day. Most of the time. Like, you know what I mean? So, and just think of how busy I am doing everything else outside of those hours, which I'm busy during those hours, obviously. I will get back. I'll answer a question, but there's no way in heck I can go back and forth with everybody, but I will give the best advice always to every single person. And like I said, I tell a lot of people, you have to learn first. You have to, because you can want the success, you can want this, you can want that. You just think you're entitled to just boom, to get everything you ever wanted. When you don't even know what you're doing, starting off. You don't have a damn clue what you're doing, but you think you're just gonna start to work and then become successful. Now, it can be a big learning experience starting out putting your action towards something, which is really never a waste of time because you're going to learn. Because if it doesn't work out, you're gonna learn. If it works out, you learn something. But you have to be in a mindset where where you constantly want to learn. You are constantly curious. You are constantly asking questions, wondering things. And this is even a big reason why I am who I am today because of how curious I was. I remember being a young kid watching like some TV shows that really serve no purpose, but you can learn something from everything. You can watch Dragon Ball Z. You can watch anything and you can learn certain things. You can really learn something from just about anything. And I remember just watching random shows and just on the couch and my brain's taking in everything that I'm seeing and learning. And I I was just like a sponge as a kid. And you have to be this way as an adult too because a lot of people become adults and they start to not learn even as much as when they were a kid. And you have to. You have to be interested in books. You have to be interested in podcasts, in videos, in every single thing that you can take knowledge from. You have to be. And if you're not, you have to find something that you are interested in. You have to. There's a lot of things in life that I am very uninterested in and I am stupid towards those things because of how uninterested I am. There's such little interest in certain things that I I suck so, so badly at it because it's just out of my mind. It's like in my mind, I know how wrong this is because I'm never going to do it. 
and all these other things that pop into my head. So it's like I completely just not even put any thought into it all because there's so many other things and my strengths that I have to put thought into. So that's what you do. You have to learn about yourself, about others. And when you master yourself, you can master others as well. When you truly master yourself. But it takes an obnoxious amount of work and the more time you spend when it's just you, the more time you're putting into yourself, the more time you're with friends, the more time you're with the boys and doing all this crazy stuff, which could be some fun. Because I have a wild side of me too. I can have fun. I can let loose. But I, it, it's a rare occasion if I even do something like that at all. The most I'll do right now is like get together with a few people and watch a UFC event. And that's nothing. Because a lot of people like to go on vendors, vacations, and this and that. You're, you're just... You're going backwards. It's what you're doing. I, I, I have a hard time doing something like that. I do. Because I, I just feel like I'm missing out on so much. And there will be a time where stuff like that could come into play a little bit later. But it's like there's so much work to do right now. When you know you have so much work to do, that's what you should be doing. Because you're going to be going against your intuition. You're going to be doing things that is not in your nature. Your head's going to be somewhere else while you're on a damn vacation paying all this money. You're not going to be enjoying yourself like you could. It's all things like this, so you just got to be smart. You got to follow your intuition. You got to do the things that you know you have to do at the end of the day. Period. So, you guys get what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> and, and you know, the, the smarter you get, the more you take in, the more you're going to be hated. The better you do, the more you will be hated. It's just how it is because a lot of people aren't doing themselves. Not focused on themselves. They're focused on everybody else around. Where can I go? Texting the cell phone. Where, who can I make plans with tonight? Where can I go tonight? Where's all the fun at tonight? This and that and that and this. It's a distraction. You're not focused on yourself. You actually want to get away from yourself and you want to get with other people. And it's not a bad thing to do here and there. But there's too many people doing this every single day. Like every day. And that's terrible. Because you never want to be with yourself. You never want to learn. You never want to do anything that you should be doing. And I'm the total opposite. I have a hard time going with other people doing things. Because I feel slowed down when I'm with other people and I'm not even lying I feel slower I feel I don't know how it's just it's crazy I just sometimes wish I was with people more that had faster minds that were smarter that were more intelligent that were more like me cause I'm just so efficient when it comes to certain things I can go and have fun and get right back in the ball and, and continue on my path and purpose. People are, are so in the mind, just, just mixed up, just confused, like no structure. And it's like you have to build structure by focusing on yourself first, knowing who you are, being more efficient with life in general. And like I said, and I'm going to end it with this. The better you get, the more you're going to be hated because the truth will show up in everybody's face that you come across. It will, and they will know. And it's going to make them mad. I make a lot of people mad naturally without even trying. I don't try to make people mad. It just happens. You're mad because of this. You're mad because of that. And I can't help that. That's a you thing. That's a you problem. It's not, that has nothing to do with me. I'm not even doing anything to you personally, but yet. You're so mad at me. It's a you problem. You have problems that you have to fix. I can get mad at anybody else. If somebody wants to put me in my place, and they're actually right, I'm not going to get mad at them. I'm going to be like, damn. 
that's right. And you know what? I do have to work on that. Like, damn. And be so humble about it. But a lot of people are not like that today. And it's sad. Because they're stuck in their ways. They're tense. They're angry. They're emotional. Stuck. And mad. And just bitter. Don't let that be you. Let's improve. Let's improve.